Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and here is a closer look at the Ives 91105F pocket door pivot. Okay, so this uh, Ives 9105 F hinge is for a very specific sort of application. Uh, it's not a hinge that you use uh, without having this specific purpose in mind. So what this is intended for is for use in a pocket door installation. Now a pocket door installation, as the word is used in this application, is not the traditional or, or more, more common sense of the word pocket. This hinge allows the door to physically fit into a recessed area or a pocket in a wall. And I would direct you to click on the template below this video and look at page two, the lower right hand corner, and you'll see the exact application, what this hinge is, is, is intended for. It's very specific use. I'm just going to make a quick sketch here on the desk. Okay. So the bottom line is when this hinge is installed, it allows the door to be in an application like this. So normally your door would sit into this area where my pen is. The door would occupy this space and come out this way. When the door is open at 90 degrees, it would go into a recessed area in the wall like that. Now where you're going to see this is in instances when, here's when I've sold it. Um, high-end sort of uh, commercial or residential application where the client just wants that door open and he wants it flush with the wall, okay, so that nothing projects out, projects out into a hallway. That's unusual, but nonetheless, it's something that I've sold in the past because a client wanted the door out of the out of the walkway. No problem. The more common uh, use of this, and where people are likely to actually see this, whenever you're in a hospital, it's very likely that you'll come across this animal. Corridors, pairs of fire doors, need to open. Sorry, pairs of fire doors need to open. Stretchers coming through, wheelchairs coming through. Those doors need to be out of the opening to prevent damage to the doors, but also to prevent them from being an obstacle to you know, people getting pushed through corridors, through these openings. Cross corridors you know, need to have fire doors on them for you know, fire code, uh, but they also need to comply with the need to get the doors out of the way to prevent damage from people hitting doors, doors being in the way, etc. So you can see the, uh, you know, the application of that if you look at the uh, page two of that template. These hinges will work on fire doors, uh, no problem with that. Um, the hinge that I've got here is a stainless steel uh, base material. Um, it is slightly magnetic, which is probably, and I don't know exactly what sort of amalgamation of material would be in this, uh, typically probably in the, in the uh, need to be fire compliant, I'm thinking that there might be some, this might be a different sort of uh, stainless. Uh, so because it is, it is slightly, you know, it, it is ferrous based, uh, or it's slightly, it, it is slightly magnetic, not significantly like plain steel would be. Um, Available in several architectural finishes. This is the 32D finish, which it is. It is slightly magnetic, uh, so keep that in mind. Can be used on wood doors and metal doors. Now I have machined both metal and wood doors for this hinge. I have manufactured those products, well, wood doors anyway, uh, and have had steel doors made uh, to comply with these hinges. And the doors are unusual. Uh, in what your preparation has to be. The bottom line is if, is if it's a wood door, there's really no easy way to create that concave radius, that one in nine thirty seconds 
radius in the edge of the door. That's going to be really unusual to be able to actually take a ball, you know, router bit and be able to route the edge of your door. That's not that's that's not typical. And plus, if it's a fire door, you're not going to be able to prep that um, on your own, so to speak, because it's not only doing that radius. You then have to do plunge. You, you then have to prep for the the hinge itself, the body of the hinge itself. Okay, uh, this portion, this leaf of the hinge. If it's a steel door, you have to do a very unusual preparation as well, which you can see here. It's a large inverted channel in the actual hinge style of the door. So it would look like the inverted bottom channel of a steel door, except that the entire hinge uh, channel, the hinge style is like that. These are doors that you're going to need to most likely have your manufacturer, your door manufacturer, make for you. And especially if they're fire doors, there'd be no question that it would have to be made by a listed manufacturer of steel or wood doors. The uh, preparations for this is uh, all drawn out here on the template. All the dimensions are here. So I'm not going to beleaguer those points in this video, uh, except to, you know, really just give you a closer look at it. You know, it's available, like I said, it's available in different architectural finishes. You know, it's, it, it swings in only one direction. It's not handed, so it can swing either way. And they're large hinges. Each one of these weighs about two and a half pounds. Uh, so they're heavy, and they're intended for those specific applications. Doesn't mean that you can't use them in other areas. Anywhere you want a hinge to be out of the way. Also, when the doors are closed, your hinges are, are concealed. You, you really you don't see these, except that you would see that portion right there. Sorry, right there. So you'd see that portion. And before we wrap it up, let's just put a tape measure on some of this and give you some general ideas. First of all, like I said, it's about two and a half pounds, the weight of a single hinge. So in relationship to my hand, it's, it's a large hinge, okay? Uh, and also, all wood screws, all metal screws are, uh, are included in a complementary finish. The, sc the screws are, are only marginally magnetic. They're probably of the same base material as this hinge. Um, overall height, give you an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh -huh, sorry. You know, roughly six and a quarter inch, okay, roughly. Your, your template is there. You can review all those. I'm just giving you an idea quickly on the video if you're just in, interested. About two and nine sixteenths overall width, okay. Uh, specific application is where you're going to see these. Not, you know, limited to only that application. Perhaps you want what you want, and that's all there is to it. There's a closer look at it if that is indeed the case. It's a substantial hinge, uh, very heavy duty for that specific application. If you have any questions, uh, and by the way, this only opens to 90 degrees, so keep that in mind. This door will not go um, any any wider than that. Uh, would be rated for about a 270-pound door if you've got a 7-foot door and you're working with three hinges. So they're capable of handling very heavy doors, which is generally the case when you're dealing with the sort of steel doors that you're going to see in a hospital uh, because those doors have a lot of hardware on them. They're generally very wide, three foot six, four foot, three foot eight. Generally very wide doors, uh, seven foot tall, uh, generally at least. Okay. Uh, Ives does recommend up to seven foot doors to go get away with two of these. I've really never seen them with only two hinges. I've I've always seen these installed in in, in sets of three is how I've ever seen them. Okay. And again. Uh, you all listed for three hour fire doors or 20 minute wood doors. Keep that in mind, fire rating is gonna dictate whether or not you can actually get away with using these, which is why you see steel doors very often uh, in these applications where a hospital will have a lot of wood doors, like the patient room doors can be very typically oak or whatever, uh, but a lot of those cross corridor doors are gonna be steel doors because of that fire rated uh, requirement. Any questions on the Ives 91 105F pocket pivot? or any other Ives product, please feel free to reach out to us. Ives is a full line manufacturer of all things trim and auxiliary related. They're very, you know, I, I don't know how many decades Ives has been around, but it's several for sure. Um, known for door stops and, you know, a push and pull hardware. They do kick plates. They do a full series of hinges, both standard ones, odd ones like this, continuous hinges. 
uh, in, a, in a very good quality company, good quality fit and finish. Any questions on this or any other IVES product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.